Africana Literati. Love Africa, read Africa. Hello, Dr. Kiche. <laughs> <laughs> or you want me to call you Wilfred? <laughs> Whatever works. I mean, you spent all those years getting the doctor, so... <laughs> well... I'm sure you have an interesting title, don't you? Yes, I do. I have a... Uh book that was somewhat sensational upon release. It's titled Unbecoming and it's a memoir by Toke Makinwa. Wow, Unbecoming by Toke Makinwa. I can't wait to hear your views. <laughs> like you said, it was the sensational read. Yes, was that was. why you picked up the book to read? Yes, you know, as at the time it came out, it was quite the bestseller. It broke the Nigerian internet as it were. And you know, everybody wanted to know you know, what she had to say because she's a very public figure and uh, her relationship or her marriage to her was a very public one and so we felt we deserved to know for whatever reasons what made them break up you know as you said the book is about the marriage but what did you enjoy about the writing was it yeah yeah, felt, yeah it, it, it was surprisingly well written okay well edited too and her thoughts were quite clear you know, she, it, it was her story, but she had the good sense to come at it from a place of detachment where she's writing without bias, you know, she's just giving a clinical... So trying to be objective. Yes, yes, Which, objective is the word. It's kind of hard when you're sharing your story because you write from your perspective. So, why should people read this book? Apart from because they want to know about somebody's marriage, do you think there are lessons to take away from the book? Sure, sure enough. There are many important lessons. Not just young women, but also men can take from the book. And it's one of them, I think, is the idea of being sufficient and being enough for yourself, by yourself. You don't necessarily need anybody to complete you and you can love someone if you don't love yourself. All about loving yourself and discovering yourself. Yes, yes, before you can now share yourself with another person. So she felt like at many, many moments she needed someone to complete her and she felt less than worthy being alone by herself. So if she were in her, I don't want to say senses, but if she were if you are maybe older now, wiser now. Yes, and approach it with a little, you know, less desperation. Maybe. <laughs> maybe that's a strong word. But if she were being a little more clear, which is hard when emotions are involved. But she would have seen that, you know, the marriage was never going to work. Do you believe Africans should share their own stories, write more memoirs? Most definitely. And I, I, I think, you know, it's not just um, public figures. Public figures, I think, all have a responsibility. So, yeah, I think we as Africans should be prepared to tell our stories in our own voices, you know, published by our own selves. You know, and it's something the Americans, the Europeans have figured out long, a long time ago. Once you are in a public position, the next thing people want to know is you know, your memoir, what all your experiences there. So it's something that we should we should really imbibe. And that's one way we'll be able to share all our stories. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I can't wait for you to come back next week again with another interesting read. I think season three are really switching things up, mixing it for us, right? Oh, well, we're trying our best. Love Africa. Read Africa. Africana Literati. Love Africa. Read Africa.